Hey guys, Rector5 here with episode number 49 of the My Player on FIFA 23. One week away from EFC 24. We're getting there. We're slowly but surely we are getting there. And we're kicking off today's episode with the Atletico Madrid game that I actually mentioned in the previous episode where I said we dominated them. It was this one. I kind of got my recordings mixed up, got the games mixed up, but yeah, this is the game in which we, we dominated them, but maybe things didn't quite go the way that we wanted them to. It's half an hour in, the first chance comes our way. Initially from the corner, we kind of didn't quite make the most of it, but it is dinked in and we do score a quite nice header uh, past Jan Oblak. So we get 1-0 to ourselves here. We're going to skip past Genduzi. We're going to be taken down. We're staying down for a little bit longer than we maybe wanted to. But thankfully, we are helped back to our feet. And there is no damage there. Thank God. Because if we'd missed out, like the ACO injury. I think we had an ACO injury already in this My Player. And um, we'd missed out on potentially winning the league, potentially winning the cup, and potentially winning the Champions League because of a Guendouzi tackle in a game against Atletico Madrid. Wouldn't have been happy. Would not have been happy with that one. But we do go 2-0 up from the resulting free kick. And things are looking good for us here in the, in Real Madrid, in uh, Atletico Madrid's stadium, the Wonder Metropolitano. We're playing some nice football. We're controlling the game. And a lovely ball through to João Felix. Puts a bit of pressure on us. Really, really nice ball. Just breaks the back line. And the pressure is now back on us because our lead is halved. And they have a chance to get back into this one. We go all the way to the 91st minute. And, well, it is going to happen again. We've been split open. And Courtois has just been dinked. And again, we dominated till, yeah, till the 50th minute. They scored with Felix. They just dinked us in the final minute. The final kick of the game. And it makes it 2-2. We bottled that one. We bottled that one. I can I can admit to that. But we have to come into this next game. Back at the Bernabeu. Against Mallorca I think we're playing. And we have to get our revenge. This is match day 19. This is the halfway point of the season. We're sitting pretty at the top of the league. And we're sitting quite comfortable. At the top of the league, even though we've dropped a few points here or there, we're playing nice football, we're sitting pretty, and there's no real problem of us potentially getting uh, knocked off our perch. That's two minutes into this one, straight from kickoff. We dig the ball over the top, and Vinicius Jr. is there just to put it into the back of the net. And I mean, the perfect way basically to kick off after a, I'd say, embarrassing draw. After being 2-0 up and so dominant. But then just 10 minutes after we score our first. We've got a chance here to score our second. As we receive the ball from deep. Shoot from outside the box. And 15 minutes in. We double our lead. We have a goal and an assist already. And a lovely little finish. To probably one of our goals of the series. A nice long range effort. We haven't really scored the most nice goals really we scored a few volleys a few long shots a couple of bicycle kicks here and there but one of the nicer ones we've scored into the opposite corner nice curled effort and uh, maybe the keeper should be doing better there but two no up i'll take it now we're two up in the last game obviously not going to let this one slip we're going to try and get that third goal and that is exactly what's going to happen here is it's laid off to ourselves a little shimmy to get past our man and then slotting it past the goalkeeper makes it three and it is Basically, game set and match right there. Um, we are now into the transfer window, seeing as it's match day 19, halfway through the season. We're into January. A couple of big transfers are going to go through in the next few episodes. So keep an eye out, one of which is going to happen in today's episode. Uh, it's mainly outgoings, actually, that are going to have a major effect on us. We've got a few good players coming in. But a couple of outgoings that might affect the squad. One of which is on your screen right, right now. So, you know, I'm not going to say who. But we do in this game. We get subbed off in the 72nd minute. Two goals, two assists and a 9.0 rating. Very, very good effort from a central midfield player. I, I do say so myself. 
as match day 20. Once again at the Bernabeu, we're digging on Bilbao, and I thought, you know, we're top of the league by so many points. Let's try and get through this one a little bit quicker and um, see how quickly we can potentially secure the league title. We do go 1-0 up through Diogo, Yosha, Diogo Jota. He makes it 1. He's then going to go and get his second of the game, six minutes in. And then, eventually, this is going to fall at our feet. We're only 18 minutes in, but we have the chance to make it 3-0 here. We're going to go for our top right-hand corner like we always do. And we score to add our name to the goal tally. Not too bad. We have actually overtaken Diogo Jota as the top goal scorer at Madrid this season and the top goal scorer in La Liga this season. So... Things are looking pretty good for us, but this game has been very action-packed. 34 minutes in, it's 3-1. We're going to have another chance here to score a very nice goal, but it's going to be saved. It's going to fall to Jota, and he is going to secure his hat-trick in only 34 minutes worth of game time. A very good performance from our Portuguese central forward. And I'll reveal now, Jota and Bremer are two players that leave us. Jota goes to Inter Milan. Bremer actually goes to the team we are playing right now. He goes to Barcelona. And I think at the time of playing this game, he actually had just joined Barcelona. So watch out for him in their defence. As we are now playing with a backline of Botman. And I think it was Mark Gerhi who we signed to replace uh, Bremer. So not too bad, actually. We've got a nice English core here at Real Madrid. There's myself, there's Elliot on one side, there's Carl Walker Peters who's still here, uh, and now Gerhi has joined us in this team. Speaking of Barcelona, we are taking them on here today at the new Camp. Rodrigo gets us off the mark five minutes into the game. Very quick finish. So a very quick start from us once again, and a lovely finish from Rodrigo to put us 1-0 to the good Barcelona. We've always seemed to have their number when we play them. Uh, whether it was here at Madrid or whether it was in the Champions League run with PSG, we just we seemed to know how they like to play and we seemed to take advantage of that as we're up against Kunde here. A couple of step overs and a little drag inside past our former teammate Edison to make it 2-0 to Real Madrid. I think that's our third goal against Barcelona this season. I think we scored twice against them in the reverse fixture after coming off the bench. And for PSG, I think we scored a hat-trick, I think, against them. So, you know, we do love playing against them. As continuing in our favour here is a nice little Anthony turn in the box. Just showing off now, getting the flair out there. Vinicius eventually finds his man, and that is a goal for the new man that is replacing Diogo Jota. It is Lucas Nemecha, the German Signed for us to play that centre forward position. And I think we've replaced the two players that have left quite nicely, actually. Um, with Gerhi and Nemecha coming in for Bremer and uh, Jota. We are going to request a substitution. 66 minutes in. We've got one goal. An 8.6 rating. 3-0 was the final score. And you can see there, Bremer confirmed to Barcelona. Didn't really matter if he was in their defence or not. We would have scored those goals anyway you know they've added a better defender than what they had and we still absolutely tore them apart as we're going to come into this one against Betis lovely ball across you probably notice I'm actually playing this one I accidentally clicked players team instead of play as my player so it ends as 1-0 victory Vinicius Jr in the 85th minute getting the goal uh that was my bad then we come into the Copa de España round of 32 we're taking on Levante away from home 23 minutes in the first chance going to come our way going to go for the penalty top right hand corner like always we find the back of the net boom obviously in our treble hunt this is one third of the trophies that we want we're already looking brilliant in the league if we can get off to a nice start here in the Copa de España I think we'll be on a nice little path to winning the treble as it's headed across from the corner, eventually going to find ourselves on the opposite side. We dink it to the back post, and it is Lucas Nemecha scoring in back-to-back -back games after his debut. First against Barcelona, second against Levante. And we're going to have another penalty here, 48 minutes in. Going to go for that top right-hand corner for the third time this episode. When will the keepers land? We always go to the top right-hand corner. 3-0 is now scoring. That is pretty much us through 
to the round of 16. Now, the Spanish Cup, or the sorry, the Copa de España, they play it like every game within a week. It's it's a pretty strange one because we do go 4 0 up here, we win the game against Levante, two goals for ourselves, two goals for Nemecha. We go straight into back to back Copa de España games. We're away to Real Zaragoza, Zaragoza and we have now the chance to get to the quarterfinals if we can win this one. 16 minutes in, we skip past our man, we're taken out. It's going to be another penalty, I think the fourth penalty this episode. One on one with the goalkeeper, you know where we're going to go, that top right hand corner. Will the keepers learn from what we like to do? Well, this one does exactly that. He saves our penalty. And uh, after so long going to that top right corner, maybe we'll have to change it up now. I'm not too sure. But this cup run from ourselves and Lucas Nemecha has been brilliant because there's another goal for ourselves. It is an assist for Lucas Nemecha. That's three goals for myself. That's two goals, one assist for Nemecha in this little Copa de España run. We have another chance here to redeem ourselves in the penalty spot. Do we double down on that top right-hand corner? Well, that's exactly what we do. Keeper doesn't even move. 2-0 on for a potential hat-trick in this one. And we've got a lot of time to complete that feat. It doesn't quite work out, but we do win 2-0. We are going to progress through to the next round where we are going to play Barcelona to start off next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.